Alright, so not to be that guy, but I'ma definitely be that guy. As a dolphin fan, as a person uh that has interest in the dolphins, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I'm selecting a quarterback in this year's draft. Now, question is, where that's different? I was like, do I have somebody that I particularly like? Yes. But then I was like, but I think we should just go ahead and draft him, regardless of who it is. Not in the first round, so that sort of makes it picky of who I sort of have liked in this draft or whatever. But I'll just go ahead and say it. I would like it if we did get Michael Penix Jr. I was like, I think it works like after you get past the, next, the, like, the later half of the first round, second round kind of thing. I don't know how... If he doesn't get selected in the first round, which I, to be honest, I kind of think that after J.J. McCarthy or whatever, that I think Bo will probably, I think Bo and Michael might fall towards like the end, almost into the second round, just because it's just like, at that point, who really needs a quarterback that ain't really grabbed a quarterback? And, you know, now they got a reef back in the first round. Anyway, so... I don't think he'd be there for the Dolphins to take in the second round. But I also don't think we should wait. We should take him with the first round or any quarterback. I was like, I feel like we have too many needs as well uh, in order to do so, especially on the defensive end just because of our injuries and people that we've had to let go that were part of our solid group that I think that that's where we should go. But nevertheless... We should take a quarterback at some point. It, I was like, I'm sort of still like mm, on Tua. I was never on the hype train. Uh, I always felt that like he. I was like, I always felt like he could be good to even really good. I didn't think that he was a great quarterback. Um, I was like, he has limitations, of course. Uh, I think we've seen that, especially this year. Uh, I think signs of it was there last year or, or the previous season, but the concussion sort of got made everything more murky. Cause I think if that we if I think that would have probably gave us a little bit better insight. What I don't sort of want is for us to basically sign him to a contract where it's like great. So this is it. Because I kind of think this is sort of just it. I was like, I don't know how many more. I mean, yes, you could keep on adding pieces and weapons, but you know, I was like, I felt like we we're we're not at the max. We could still do better for the team, and even Tua, Tua could still impress. And I was like, I I think I think we should at least hold off on the contract. Is what I'm saying. Like, which there still isn't any rush to me to. Go ahead and throw out the money. Because guess what? To be honest, we're sort of in the Kirk Cousins, Dak Prescott range. And I've been on the record of saying that I'd rather would probably have Dak Prescott myself. Um, you know, like at the time, not, I was like, the first time he was doing like his contracts, not necessarily this time, which even this time, he just going to cost too much anyway. But that's sort of where we're at, where it's just like, to me, everything would have to be great. And last year, it was going that way until we have an injury with Waddle and the defense sort of like falling off and stuff. And now we're at that tricky situation where it's like, great, now all those pieces are gone. Money is more of an issue. And now you got to pay the quarterback. You're starting to be in that spot. So now we're at that difficult, hard situation. And. If everything is perfect, how it could have been necessary last year, he could be Matt Ryan. You know, a great quarterback with flaws, but you got enough, but you got the coaching and you got enough players to mask anything like that. But if we're if we're not gonna be in that spot, I was like, it it's just gonna look Great, how it always is for the first seven, eight games, put, making records and doing great, and then the fall off. And I ain't even talking about that J. Cole, because that's going to probably be great. 
Uh, but that's why I think we should go ahead and draft a quarterback at some point. I was like, I, I don't really know too many other than after the first, you know, six. I mean, you know, there's a couple that pop in there, you know, like, like Spence Rattler and stuff. But I just think, I was like, just, just, just draft one. Just do the Green Bay model. Just draft one and see how it goes. Hell, you, the Philadelphia Eagles, what they used to do, just draft, just draft a quarterback. You never know. Uh, I know we also, I was like, look, we got, we still got Mike White as a backup. You could just draft a quarterback later on and just have him sit. But I think it's very important just to give yourself some leverage. And, hey, it, I was like, it's it would be a luxury to try to draft Penning. Because I was like, that's, like, because we're not going to get the top one. So I'm being realistic that I'm like, I was like, he got a strong arm. I was like, he, I was like, he, he throws the ball so fluidly. I was like, that. And you don't, he's a big dude. Yes, he's had injuries, but so is Tua. So that shouldn't scare us off any more than anything else. Um, I was like, he's more mobile than uh, than Tua as well, too. So he can move in the pocket. That, so that's my, I'm like, that's why I'm looking at where I'm like, I was like, is it so effortless in him throwing the ball to, and he can throw the ball to everybody? But I'm also like, hey, I get it. We're not in that situation either. Let's let's draft right, but at some point you got to get on a you got to get a quarterback. So I'm not necessarily, and even though it is be taken that way, poo poo and Tua. I'm just saying that we're in a weird position with the team that we might have missed the opportune window of the rookie quarterback kind of thing with a team that has a lot of pushing their chips all in and we didn't I was like we didn't win and now we're gonna just see how that goes now granted hey the Bills also sort of in the situation the Jets we don't know so hey we can win the division this year but hell we thought we could win the division last year and I'm just saying like hey with Josh Allen do you always want to be playing for number two is that is it so that that difficult thing you gotta make? Anyway, what do you think? Should we draft a quarterback at some point in the draft? Uh or or it was like I'm not saying you give up on Tua. I'm just saying have something ready. But where are you at? Do you think we should? Where do you think we should? Like I said, I'm not saying first round. And I won't be able to get my boy Michael Penix. I understand that. So where do you think, who the quarterback you got in your mind, or you don't care, do you want somebody, let me know. Anyway, out.